This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. It's another day podcasting from my kitchen because it's fucking hell on earth outside. Yeah, I always forget. And then I remember that September (laughs) is the hottest like month of the year out here. It's true. It's yeah. true. You know, it used to be August, but September, us determined Virgos, we came in and we said, give it to us. Yes, yeah, Virgo season. How are you feeling? Um, it's the same. <laughs> like it, the thing is, is this is the this is the birthday I turned forty one. So it's like oh, yeah, been yeah. there, done that with yeah. aging. Yeah. Um, but I'm feeling good. You know, I feel like there's a lot of incredible virgos out there like it's just beyonce's birthday yeah like i feel like there's a slew of virgos in the entertainment industry because Mm. i think the virgo personality is something you might need to succeed in this business virgos are incredibly hard working thank you and they're like we gotta figure out this system Mm -hmm. go-getters we're the go-getters so anyway but it's just so fucking hot outside i mean i'm taking beans for walks yeah and I'm just carrying her until we're in shade. Yeah. And then picking her back up. Like it's fully just up and down, up and down. Yeah. I, on Sunday, before you came over to watch sports. Oh yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Um, I was like, let me change it up. I'm going to run outside. But what? I, yeah. But I was like, I'm going at like 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Still a hundy. It was so hot. I was like. I look like I'm having a heat stroke in front of any person I pass. Lots of people out with their dogs having a perfectly pleasant time. I also just haven't run outside and my area is really hilly. So I was struggling on multi levels. Um, uh, But it was great to shake things up, you know, good for your brain. Try something new. Good for you. But I will say hell big just for the sake of your health. Yeah. Health big. Yeah. Is when I was looking at the. Why am I talking on like a New Jersey accent? I feel like when I was looking at the weather app, like what am I doing? Um, when I was looking at the weather, yeah, it's a combo. It's a one-two hit mm-hmm. of Satan's bulls, yeah, and air quality. Yeah. Be, so be careful out there. I thank you. That's why Thanks. I don't run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason that you don't run. If the air quality was a little bit better out you here. You know, maybe I'd be, be thinner. <laughs> anyway, um, <sighs> are we going to talk about it or are we not going to talk about it? What's that? My hair is dark. Yeah, your hair looks great. If any of you were on our Patreon live stream last time where we be. did a Dance Moms theme and Mamrie wore a brunette wig to play Abby Lee Miller... We all were taken aback at how good it looked. <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel like you were feeling yourself. I was. In between <laughs> playing a ridiculous character, you would be like monstrous and then serving a little face just to yourself in the a corner. A little bit of look, because let me tell you what. I don't follow hair and makeup trends. Yeah. Like, I just can't keep, I can't keep up. There's I'm too al- many. Also, my, like skill set is too limited yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like i can't switch it up no i peaked you know at you what i really... was able to learn with makeup in about 2014 i hear you but there were like there were probably three or four years there mm-hmm. where your eyeliner was so dialed in and iconic uh-huh. to you wow well, yeah, yeah like you you are always good at makeup well one particular one style of makeup one type. <laughs> yeah um but so anyway i had on I literally ordered a Rachel wig, like from yeah, Friends. Yeah, yeah. Because it's big and it's like when you go back and look at early seasons of Friends, it's like, oh, this was now what the girls are doing with the rollers. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's lots of volume. It's that was 90 supermodel hair. That was an iconic hairstyle. I remember iconic. being in like fourth grade and knowing what, quote, the <laughs> Rachel was. Grace, I worked at Cafe Clooney in the West Village in yeah. New York City. And I remember us having to be like really nice to this one woman (laughs) and you know what I mean where they'd be like it's that guy and that that guy invented like this cut of suit what was his name he's like a fashion designer and you'd be like oh okay okay and this girl she comes in here every day and gets a chocolate croissant and blah 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 and I was like okay and it was there was one where we had to be really nice to this woman Mm -hmm. and it was the hairdresser who created the Rachel. Wow. Wow. And I guess she also cut the owner of the cafe's hair. Okay. So we had to be really nice to her but like she walked in there no like her strut signifies yeah i changed society with one single chop chop yeah i impacted culture hugely yeah hugely wow um anyway but so i was wearing my rachel wig yep (laughs) wearing your rachel wig playing an abby lee miller but abby lee goes 
hard on the mascara and likes a pink lip. Yeah. I love all of that. Yeah. And I wish it was in style. You Hey, I feel like style now is just you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. And then well, like, you just came back from the U.S. Open. So you're like, <laughs> you basically just came back from Fashion Week. That OK, we'll get into that. We'll get into it. But uh, so anyway, I was feeling myself and I was like, you know what? I box dye my hair. It fades so quickly. Yeah. I'm going to dye it like super dark brown. Nice. So we'll see. It looks great. Right now we're in like a darker room. When it's in the sun, it still has like some red in it. Yeah. And whatnot. And it, it'll be back to normal in probably like a month. But You're I was like. ready for fall. Exactly mm -hmm. that. I was like, I've never had my color analysis done. I was like, but let's give her a shot. Yeah. Also, is color analysis bullshit? We also talked about that know. on our live stream. Mm -hmm. um, those filters that are on TikTok that are like, see if you're a spring, summer, winter, fall. I cannot figure out what is complimentary and what's not complimentary. I can't either. And I do. I have fallen into watching those videos, be it a TikTok <laughs> or. It'll be like a woman being like, and you see. You see the well, difference they, as she clicks through and I see zero difference. Well, she just has like a stack of felt. Yeah. <laughs> felt squares. Like when you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and you're like, yeah, I need a, a one by one foot yeah. of green felt. She just gets the stack of felt and it's just like, and see the one and the two. Honestly. Yeah. The only other time I'm more confused is when I'm at the optometrist and they're like, is this one clearer? This right. one? That to me, it's the same. I'm guessing. No idea. I have no clue because I'll be like, oh, she looks amazing in an ice blue. And yeah. then she'll be like, clearly you're more cut out for Auburn. <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah, same. I don't know either. Maybe that means that we can wear all colors. What if you got your color analysis mm -hmm. and they were like, you need to have dark red hair. Well, uh, would you try it? I think so. That's what people were saying. Um, uh, I've seen a, a couple comments, all incredibly sweet and encouraging of being like, your hair currently looks so good, but bummed we missed out on like a wig era for yeah. you. And I was like, yeah, I know. I am kind of clutching to what I know by like getting it dyed blonde and like getting it cut in ways yes. that are familiar. But like you've seen, the curls that are coming in underneath are wild. So I do feel like it's going to continue to morph and I have to like just figure out. But if it got like full... Ten yeah. like tenderly. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping. I Grace, the level of jealousy I will have, <laughs> like, it might affect our friendship. If you all of a sudden have like big curly hair. We'll see. People say that they have curls that grow in after yeah. chemo and then they'll cut for regular haircuts and then the hair will slowly go back to its like other texture but it's actual roots yeah and it's not um it's not universal so, so it's, it's a like temporary potentially tendrils. or it's not or some people it grows in curly and then it stays curly so it's uh it's hmm. kind of a a fun little like gamble i think when another time that happens yeah is like when i was in high school my friend ashley her hair was so curly it was like like she yeah she couldn't run a hand through it. Like yeah. it was like a pick. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like it was teensy tiny. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm talking rotini. Yeah. Pasta. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cute. Little, little corkscrews. Yep. And she of course was just like so annoyed with it, yeah. you know, because if you got it, you don't want it. Yeah. But so she had that curly hair. She had kids bone straight. Really? Bone straight. And I'm, <sighs> and I go back and I look Bodies at pictures from, from high school and yeah. I'm like, it looked like you had like a nineties Mariah Carey perm. Yeah. Like Shirley Temple. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's what will be interesting. Cause it'll just continue to morph and we'll see how it goes. But I asked on Instagram for like curly hair product recommendations because I'm like, Oh, let me, I, I don't have those things at yeah. home. It's like a whole, it's a whole different world. universe. And thank you to everyone that was submitting suggestions. There were so many mm -hmm. and there were so many like techniques and there's so many different kinds of curls. A lot of people were like, you have to figure out what kind of curl you have. Well, here's the thing is I fell into that for a minute yeah. because I was convinced my hair was wavy. <laughs> this was, yeah, this was an believe, early summer delusion. I do believe there was a moment <laughs> where you were scrunching. And I was, scrunching. I was like, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yep, I see it. I see it. Because I, I had, I had scrunchable hair. Like my first ever headshots that I have from like 2008 yeah. are me with scrunched long hair. So I do have like naturally kind of curly hair. Right. But now it's becoming different types of well, curls. Well, I convinced myself and it could <laughs> still be true. But in the same way where I was like, I don't know how to do makeup. Mm -hmm. I also just don't have the patience to ha have good hair because... I was really convincing myself that yeah. I 
did have that in my hair. Yeah. I just didn't know. I didn't have the tools to bring it out. Right. Because when you fall into those TikToks. Yeah. It's like a part-time job. Yes, it really is. I did not realize the yeah. curl community. So oh. Also, everyone's going to hate my crunchy R's on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> the curl community curl. is cool, cool, crazy. I mean, they just have to do a lot of work. There's so much. You know? There's so much leaning like, over. Um, I keep the like I was the first thing that comes to mind is like, you know, like a beef Wellington. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know how like much effort that yeah. is. And people don't really understand how, but that's why what's his face, the Gordon Ramsay, yeah, is like so popular because that's his thing. That's his thing, right? But you're like, oh, they make it look easy. That's like the curl community. They're out there cooking beef Wellingtons, wow, with their curls, taking hours and hours, tons of products, and then mm. we're just enjoying their curls, like the fruit of their labor, like it was a natural thing. Like I never, well, speaking of beef Wellington, I'm yeah. beef pastry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and that should be complimentary, just in case anyone thinks Yo, that that girl, is. Yo, uh, girl, your hair be looking like beef Wellington. You got a beautiful beef Wellington up there. I know how hard you worked on that. <laughs> I had no idea until I started watching um, the Great British Bake Off. Mm -hmm. How how intense croissants were. Yeah. Those flaky layers? I always took it for granted. I know. I still do. Now I go to a bakery. I see a fresh croissant and I'm looking in the back like, you guys okay? Yeah, yeah. You guys I, need your you, hands massaged. You guys wearing wrist brace? <laughs> yeah. Braces? Um, Wild. So anyway, well, I'm excited for your hair journey. You too. You I got it. What? I don't know. <laughs> well, build I mean, a, your brunette journey. Oh, see where say. it takes you this fall. You guys know that I'm a comfort queen and that is especially true when it comes to bras. I have just not been friendly with underwire bras for years. I love me a good sports bra. I love something that doesn't feel like it's digging into my skin and then I become hyper fixated on it. Then my clothes don't feel like they fit well and then the insecurities just rain in. But thankfully, Skims has changed that. Skims makes underwire bras that are so comfortable, I forget that I am wearing an underwire bra. And look, my girls have been through a lot the last year, so the best thing I can do for them is make them comfortable. And man, Skims bras have changed the way I think about underwire bras. One of my favorite ones that they have is the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra. You know, I wear t-shirts all the time. And this truly does fit everybody. <laughs> it is so comfortable. You can't really see anything under a t-shirt. It is supportive. It is easy. It is sleek and it goes under every kind of t-shirt or shirt that you have. There's also the balconette bra. Ooh, it's sexy. The cups are this beautiful mesh fabric and it keeps your natural shape. The proof is in the name. It really does not show anything under your clothing. So if you are at all interested, shop Skims Bras at skims.com, now available in 62 sizes, 30A to 46H. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that we sent you. After you place your order, select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows. After you have set your laundry to permanent press, it's time to give Golden Nugget online casino a spin. With hundreds of the most exciting games, Golden Nugget lets you live it up in your downtime on classic and exclusive slots only found on our online casino. So take a load off while you wait for your load of laundry and say hello to your golden era. New players can get $77 instantly in casino site credits. All you gotta do is you sign up with the code TMGW and deposit just $7 to get 77 in casino site credits. Make any moment golden. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. Please play responsibly 21 plus physically present in Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia only. Void in Ontario, one per new customer max. Reward of $77 and site credits that expire in 168 hours. See site for award playthrough requirements and terms at goldennuggetcasino.com slash welcome. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Ooh. Speaking of hair. Yeah. Have you dermaplaned? What, what is that? That's the thing where you like yeah. raise, razor your own face. Yes. Those little I, things? The little the I little think we talked about this before. Did we already? And you were like, am I a werewolf? And I just never <laughs> knew it. And I was like, that's how I felt. Because I lost a lot of the peach fuzz during treatment. Yeah. And now 
oh, I'm like the fuzziest peach it's that's like, ever existed. It's no longer a peach fuzz. It's just full on like mange on my face. <laughs> and I will have to like, I'll catch it occasionally. Like I won't recognize yeah. or realize, you know, I'll forget about it. And then in my bathroom, depending on the time yeah. of day, the sunlight will it's just like, be... Ooh! It, it'll be in a certain way where I just have whiskers everywhere. And I'm going, what? I said, huh? I mean, truly, well, we talked about it because I've tried it. Yeah. Um, but, but what I didn't try is I had seen on TikTok, they have like a spray. Okay. Have you seen this? No. There's a spray you put on your face uh -huh. and it's like, and it's like little particles. It's almost like, you know, in shop windows, they'll do like fake snow yes. decorations. Yes. So it's like that on your face. And it's supposed to like adhere to all the little hairs. So then you can see them better to dermaplane. Right. What? Yeah. What? Look up dermaplane. So look it, up dermaplaning spray face. So it gives you. So a, it basically gives you a guide of like where there's hair. Like it, like the oh, spray, see, the microfiber just, stick to. It's okay. not. It's not. Maybe oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God. I know. She looks <laughs> I know. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> she's just been um yeah, she's been like flowered. Remember that old jackass? Oh, uh, right, thing? right, right. But so it helps you like identify the hairs better. Um <laughs> so anyway, Jacqueline got some off TikTok and she was like, "Oh, it works great. Like I think it actually even like makes your hairs a little colder so they sit up, so it's like great." Yeah. So I was but I was impatient. Uh -huh. Because it took a little while for it to come in, the good kind on TikTok. Yeah. So I was impatient and I got it on like Amazon today. Yeah. And I sprayed my face and I just, I think I got, it was too cheap. <laughs> you got, do you have toxic <laughs> shock syndrome? <laughs> I'm just sitting there. We're just looking like I just sprayed it in my face. It kind of burned. And then I was like, how do I even open my eyes to a dermal plane? But see, I don't even understand, like, to me, you're just sort of doing your cheeks and above your lips and some of your chin. Like, why do you need that? Like, why do you need it highlighted? Because, I, because it, like, mine is, like, super blonde. Right. So it just helps you, like, see, like, oh. where you can get it or whatnot. And also, when, I, <laughs> when I've when i done it, this is new. All the uh, chip listening here is like, you shave? You know, like, yeah. um, <laughs> when I've done it, I feel like I'm in, like, a, like a old western town barber shop is this, and yeah. i want to do like a, i want the hot, hot rag yeah, yeah 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 is there a technique because i'm just I don't hacking know. away <laughs> no, me too. i'm just going in with the light of the sun <laughs> backlighting me and me just hacking back and forth until to your yeah. mutton chops I mean, that literally that's what it is it's all it's coming back now i could feel a little tinies uh, oh. growing in but yeah it's um I, d I don't know that this is a necessary product. I don't know if it is either, but it just, it felt really sad. I was sitting there <laughs> this girl's whole and my fa face is white. In what way is that showing her where she needs to dermaplane? Because <laughs> it grips to the hairs and the hairs stand out. Okay. If it makes the hairs easier to locate. Well, they're all, they're all just on your face. I know. Grace looks. If it makes it easier to actually like remove them oh, i get no. that no but oh. i just i just sat there on my this bed like a sad prank. with just like a spray painted <laughs> face it didn't help locate anything it just affected my self-esteem okay well that's good to know oh my a solid god review. oh my goodness okay oh my goodness. should i talk about the u.s open yeah that's where i went last week i know she got the drink you she got the honey i got it i made it I made immediately and the amount of honey deuces that were being drank. It's at just this a vodka pink lemonade, right? Basically. It's like raspberry liqueur, gray goose vodka, lemonade, and these melons and maybe like a splash of seltzer or something. I don't know. It's pre-mixed at a lot of these places. Yeah, it's not like you couldn't do it less sweet. I think it's, look, it's just the appeal of it, it looking like a tennis ball. And absurd. I've told you, I'm obsessed with melon ballers. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do melon baller giveaways for my cookbook. <laughs> yeah. I think it's underrated. But could you get the melon balls in like a vodka soda? Because I know you wanted to, bitch. That was probably. But they were $23 <laughs> each. Yeah. In Sporting event. Insane. So we like, so the US Open split into day sessions and night sessions. Mm -hmm. So we originally bought tickets just for the night session because previously my brother and dad went and it was so hot during the day. I was going to say. So I was like, let's not that. do that. But then the weather was beautiful in New York. Oh. So I went on SeatGeek, not Spawn. 
um, and grab like cheap tickets last minute to the day session of being like, well, let's go if we want to watch tennis. So you, um, as in you would go early and into the night yeah. on the same day. Because okay. also the thing is when you buy tennis tickets, which is interesting, like at tournaments, you buy tickets to the, you know, semifinal round, mm. but you have no idea who's right. going to play and you have no idea how good or bad the games are going to be. So you could buy tickets and be there for five hours. You could buy tickets, be there for like two hours, depending oh. on how long the games go. Right. So I was like, well, this it's is not like, a timed event. Yeah. It's this a is point event. A gift for my dad with my brother. And I want to make sure that like we get to see a decent amount of tennis. Cause if we go to just the night session, there's a chance that the matches aren't great. And then like, Grace, you know, you don't have to rationalize spending money to me. We let Elliot try to VPN <laughs> a football game for 30 <laughs> 30 minutes before we looked at each other and we said we're splitting the nfl ticket <laughs> yeah then mommy for half the amount of discourse <laughs> about whether we should do that before actually doing it was absurd in hindsight I know, like, and then elliot was watching it, he was like this is amazing and i was like grace and i superpower is saying fuck it let's pay let's pay for yeah, it yeah <laughs> the amount of things that we've accomplished by looking at each other and going let's just let's do just it fucking pay for in it. the past 15 years yeah, like well, why great. is this any different okay so you got the tickets so got tickets then we went the beginning session the day session's beautiful so incredibly lovely that place is such a mind fuck of like it is so comical everyone is like stepping out of their fantasy j crew ad yeah like it is so silly do the people amount... like tennis that much or is this just because it's the vibe so it's like a weird like the people that were sitting in front like so our first seats like we went to sit down and there were all these like these um women that were all there that clearly seemed a little hammered already love it like i went to sit up my seat and it was just like covered in a wet towel that she was like oh sorry something spilled and then <laughs> she just, just like, left the towel left in the there, seat and then just like pulled it up and then my little brother was like i'll go get a napkin and like came back she's like it was just water though i was like I don't know if I believe that, uh, but they didn't watch like hardly a match. They were just getting drinks, coming back, sitting down. Yeah. The people in front of us uh, were like clearly all working in some like law firm or it was a lot of like business. Mm. Uh, you could tell like um, and then people would come and sit in people's seats like it, the, I remember that from like 12 years ago. Wait. At, like they do in the Oscars or people were just trying to steal people other people's try to steal seats like oh, that was yeah, the yeah, fun yeah. thing about when my dad and I used to go when I lived in Brooklyn is that we would get cheap seats and then we'd like try to work Slowly our way down but surely creep down I love and it. so people were doing that in front of us and then like all of these like pff, investment bankers or some bullshit like all came and we're like your guys are in our seats um and so day session was great then we switched to our seats for the night session and god damn it was so unfortunate oh no where our seats were was just in this spot that everyone coming up the stairs to find their seat just stopped in front oh. of in front of the court and it was like as soon as we sat down and people just started like taking selfies like while a match is happening like directly mm -hmm. unfortunately in our exact line of sight and my dad my poor dad was like getting so like frustrated yeah but thankfully we have speaking of your new jersey accent earlier <laughs> these like group of like five guys who had yes. this like long island accent sitting behind us the whole time the g one guy was a season ticket holder he emails the u.s open every year to try and get his tickets moved because he doesn't like these seats and uh he brought his friends he couldn't give a fuck and was telling yes. everyone to sit down yes thank god but like he was the voice for the sweet quiet hell bigs. yeah he was like take <laughs> he's like take your selfies other uh, elsewhere get the fuck out of here like Stuff like yes. that that was excellent, and then <laughs> but it was ha it was happening constantly. Yeah, it was like, and we had been drinking a couple drinks during the day. Just throw them in their face. We had been there like six hours. My dad throw had a couple rag. beers. My dad was getting snippy, being like, "Sit down, sit down." At one point, this woman, God, this was so. This guy's yelling. It's like a. It's bringing the group a little closer together, you know. But it's happening nonstop. And then this woman is standing there, and we're all like feeling the anger and all of us are like ma'am ma'am can you please move ma'am and then we turn and it's just like her family member coming down the stairs with a cane yeah and we were all like oh fuck yeah meanwhile there's like seven other people still standing there too yeah and it was in Say you and, didn't know and then at the end yeah this guy oh god i love these men behind us because they were hardly <laughs> watching the game they were talking about honey deuces made 15 million dollars for the uh entire tournament this year jesus then christ at one point 
the one guy just looks at the other guy and goes, ice cream time? You want a little ice cream? And one of the guys had gone down and got an ice cream and he was like, did you get the one you wanted or did you just get what they had? Okay, I'm going to go. And then they got ice cream. They came back up. They were devastated at how small the ice cream was. Oh, yeah. This is all air and all packaged. There's no ice cream. They were so upset. He's eating his ice cream, telling people to sit the fuck down. It I was, love it. Yeah, it was it's my we, ideal day. It was so uh, you had to laugh because it was so infuriating. But we were there for like twelve hours. How like it was in? We watched so much tennis. We got back to our like Airbnb apartment thing at like one a.m. Whoa! And my dad and brother just immediately started heating up Chinese food. Like yes. two drunk girls coming home from a party, and I was like, "Yes, look at you." Did guys. you get to sleep in? Oh, yeah. We okay. slept in, except like we slept in and then I woke up and there I went to bed before them. They were already up drinking coffees that they went down to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Your family <laughs> is built different. If that they, had been my family, first of all, we'd been like, we don't know how to play tennis. And then my sister would have been in bed till two. Yeah. No. My mom would have been like, I had insomnia. I haven't slept in four days. <laughs> like, was, none of us have a healthy sleep relationship. It was so fun. Uh, we did see Ben Stiller just wandering around the food court by himself. Love it. Which was, yeah, there's like an insane, weird cross section. Simone Biles was there the night. That did we you were show there. her the picture of us? No, she was um, not sitting anywhere <laughs> near where we were sitting, unfortunately. <laughs> but I could tell she felt that I was there. Yeah. Um, and then by the end of the night, it was like dystopian. The amount of like I went out to go get like a final drink. I was in line for a half hour. And the way that these kids, young adults that were working the stadium were having to make these dumb melon drinks yeah. was truly like there were just melon balls everywhere and just <laughs> drunk, rich people just in line. Oblivious to of this. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't. Uh, like it's got to be an event it's got to be a weird dichotomy of like they want to cut people off but also it's like right people, this is how they make their money they make their money and also like you never know at one of those kind of events like if you're cutting off the yeah. the wife of a right or like you can't cut her off it's, she's a senator i know it's such a <laughs> weird cross-section of people also i do like my suspicion is that they're really light on alcohol Cause like yeah. I had one, I was like, oh, I don't even know that this had alcohol in it. It was mm -hmm. it, it, not bad. Didn't taste bad, but that's how all drinks taste to me, which is yeah. why I drink so many. <laughs> um, but speaking of dystopian, yeah, something that is killing me this week. I don't know have you if you've seen much of it, but Anna Delvey is on Dancing with the Stars. You've seen this, right? Yeah, and so is um, Pommel Horse Steven and Alona Mayer. Yeah, well, those are respectable athletes. Yeah. Anna Delvey, yeah. who is recently out of jail for being a con woman. Yeah. First of all, as soon as she got out of the jail, she got Ozempic. She looks great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she, Did she? Okay. She looks fantastic. <laughs> um, and I've seen, uh, and her, she is a queen in that her interviews, she's always just like, I'm not guilty. What did I do? Yeah. yeah. What did I do? I did nothing. Yeah, that's not her accent, but I love it because it is kind of like, I could give a fuck if she rips off a bank. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she is, it's, she did her time, but she's doing Dancing with the Stars wearing her ankle monitor. Really? Because she is still technically on house <sighs> arrest for like, or like monitor for like three years or something, but they granted her access to go, come to LA to do this. Yeah. But it's killing me and it's so dystopian yeah. because, um, her partner, I forget what his name is, but he just forces her to make TikToks all the time. They all do. So all of them. <laughs> I'm, Delphi. I know. But didn't she like that was her whole thing is that she used social media like why while, while she was in prison? Oh, I don't know. I know she like sold. She sold her art for a lot of money, which yeah. all her art just looked like. You know, like every book from around the time Sex and the City came out, like Confessions of a Shopaholic yeah. or like uh, Super Mom, you know, and it's just kind of like this kind of like, yeah, drawing of like a little woman in high heels. Yeah. That's like what sitting inside of a martini glass or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like wearing glasses at a cafe with a, with a tiny poodle. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yes. With, I know exactly what you're talking that's about. That's a certain type of art. And like, that's what she would make. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I know. That's, um. Gypsy Rose, I would assume. Blanchard? Yeah. Is she not on this season? I bet it was between the two of them. She No, because she's pregnant. Oh. I bet if she wasn't pregnant, she would be on it. Probably. Probably. I mean, but like, that what show, world is this? That show 
has been problematic for a while of yeah. like putting up politicians and people in government that yeah. have sorted reputations yeah, and totally. propping them up. So that show in and of itself is total fuckery. Yeah. I agree. But do I want Stephen Pommelhorst guy to do well? Of course I do. I would like a season of Dancing with the Stars, which I've never watched a season of. Yeah. But there's so many of them. I mean, first of all, nothing will ever be as dystopian as The Masked Singer. But this is... An <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is cable TV up to? So they are weird. really spiraling. It's terrible. But so I've never watched it, but I would like... It wouldn't get the same views. Mm -hmm. If they did a whole season that was just... People who were memes. Oh, yeah. That came back from da on Dancing with the Stars, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. If there was just a whole season yeah. where the contestants yeah. were like memes. Yeah. So you'd be like, I'm the probably kid. Yeah. I'm the <laughs> what's her face uh, disaster girl or whatever. The girl that's smiling in front of the house on yeah. fire. And it's just the meme season. I would love that. Honestly, I don't think we're that far off from it because the age group of viewers it's got to be millennials at some point yeah it feels like a boomer show it does feel the like moment. a boomer show but um wow i yeah. didn't plan on watching the season and that really confirmed that yeah me. no i will never watch it but i just uh, i'm being fed in the algorithm tiktoks of him being like hey guys i'm here again and we're just thinking like what should our team name be and it will be like what should yeah. it be anna and she'll be like i don't care <laughs> that <laughs> like, i can get on board like, with just it's not she just does not give a fuck. And then in an interview, they were like, what would winning Dancing with the Stars mean to you? And she said, not much. Fantastic. She goes, I think I get that mirror ball or something. That's excellent. Yeah, destroy that show from the inside. Maybe that's what she's doing. She's conning and destroying oh, that show. Maybe. Um, she's just siphoning. She's just charging people for audience member tickets when, yeah. like, when they're free. <laughs> No matter what you're doing this season, you're bringing your microbiome with you too. That's 38 trillion bacteria that live in and on you, especially in your gut, that are essential to whole body health. Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic benefits your gut, skin, and heart health in just two capsules a day. Seed's patented capsuling capsule design means that all 24 strains of bacteria survive the journey from shipping to your door through digestion without synthetic or chemical coatings. There's no refrigeration needed. With clinical trials and breakthrough research published in top scientific journals, Seed's probiotic research and development make DSO-1 a product that you know you can trust. I am all about healthy digestion and probiotics are a great way to get your microbiome on track. Not only has every ingredient been tested individually in scientific studies for their safety dosage and benefits, the DSO-1 formulation as a whole has been evaluated in two clinical trials. Like I said, probiotics and prebiotics work best when they are used consistently, like any other routine health habits, you know, like getting your daily walk or eating enough fruits and veggies. You have to do it consistently to see the benefits. So Seed subscription service easily builds DSO-1 into your routine. Support your gut this summer with Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. Go to seed.com slash weird and use code 25TMGW to get 25% off your first month. That's 25% off your first month at Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic at seed.com slash weird code 25TMGW. Um, speaking of dystopia uh -huh. and uh, criminals. Yes. The debate is on in like an hour. I know. That's the thing. We're oh kind God. of remember us as we are in this episode, because by the time this airs, the debate I'm will so have nervous. happened. But we have no idea what's going to happen. I'm so nervous. So when you're um listening to this, um, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know we how tonight so went. Young and innocent. Uh, did, uh, here's a question. OK. I have no idea how I came to this because it's on my notes. And I'm like, when did I figure that out? Did you know? It's badminton, not badminton. Yeah. Badminton. I didn't know that. What? This M I N T O N. I thought it was badminton. Badmittens? <laughs> badminton. I thought badminton. Minton. Right. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, I had no oh. idea. I thought <laughs> badminton. I had to do a double take. Uh, oh, you thought it was B A D M I T T E N? Like, yeah, like these are some bad mittens. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought I have, well, honestly, I didn't have never really thought about it, but I was like, whoa, that's for sure a word that I thought was different. I knew it was badminton, but I also 
There was also a guy who was somewhat in my friend group in high school whose last name was Mitten. And so I Minton like M I N T O N like okay. badminton. Oh. And so I remember being, and he was um. kind of a bad boy. So I remember at one point being like, uh, more like badminton, and like he crushed. Nice, <laughs> a star is born. <laughs> star is born. <gasps> also, sherbet, not sherbert. I learned that sherbet. This, sherbet. That's dumb. That I learned. We that, need to change that. I learned that yesterday. I called it the, sherbet my whole life. Me too. I learned from Keith from the Try Guys yesterday on a shoot for them that yeah. it's sherbet, not sherbert. That's I what? hate. Are you sherbert? Yeah, <laughs> that's me looking at badminton's. I was like, what? Wow. Yeah, sherbet. Sherbet. You learn something new every day. And this has been, (laughs) I've been saying it wrong my whole life (laughs) with Grace and Mamrie. I'm so glad you have a few of those. This is uh, not even a story, but something that just made me laugh is I went to the little like shipping place up the street. They're so nice. They do great work. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I have one of those. I have a FedEx place where the guy is so great. They're fantastic. Yeah. But so this is one, it's not like a specific like FedEx or UPS. They'll, They'll give you like prices for like across the board yeah you know i mean so i was going to send chip a little something so we get it wrapped up in the envelope and i'm like well let me see well, let me see uh like what the range is of how mm-hmm. fast i can get it how expensive it's going to be and i'm like looking at them and i'm i'm looking at the screen and i went two day shipping is six hundred dollars <laughs> and i'm freaking out and he goes you're leaning on the scale <laughs> So if you wanted to send yourself, I was like, hmm, <laughs> oh, that's a lot. That's that's crazy for one pound for less than a pound. <laughs> it's like, ma'am, what does this world come to? Ma'am. I got to get out of here. I was like, y- you'll never have my business. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> and then you threw a smoke bomb on the floor and you got out of there. I'm out there with like a picket, like <laughs> prices too high. Inflation's got a bust. And he's like, ma'am, ma'am. could you not sit on the sc- <laughs> stand up? Stand up straight. Could you just get your elbow off this? That's very funny. Good to know. Good to know. It cracked me up. Now I'm going to go in there and get it normal and be like, oh, are you sure I'm not, I'm sure I'm not leaning on the scale? <laughs> These prices are absurd. Oh, my um, God. I was looking at this article earlier about um, the Queensland Health Department has been recently praised for uh their quote it's okay to poo at work campaign wow yeah Yeah. apparently they have this new zealand right yes okay they have posted an instagram video featuring the statement it's okay to poo at work Mm -hmm. over a montage of lisa frank images and dolphins rainbows and unicorns set to that song symphony and what song symphony uh, bittersweet symphony n- do, do, nick do, sanders do, do, song do, do, do. symphony never heard it me either in my mind i thought bittersweet symphony yeah which would have been <laughs> a hilarious been like best choice life. for uh, a poop camp over a lisa frank folder that's not bad <laughs> and i because we don't work in offices um, but like i said I, but went, I have shit in off I, when i did work in nine to fives you better see, believe i was dropping talk about a honey deuce <laughs> <laughs> that I I that's the one thing uh, other than most things that I don't miss about being in an office no. especially is the the shitting circumstances and in their post they gave tips for pooing in public okay because this is like um a difficult thing for a lot of people right. myself included it's uh called pear copresis is called is poo paranoia Uh, where people have the condition where it's an overwhelming fear of being judged by others because of the sounds and smells with pooing (laughs) i wanted to highlight this in this week's episode because i literally so yesterday pear pear caprices pear caprices that is a great drag name right I mean, and how, and that would be a very (laughs) high, uh, intelligent name. Cause I went to the, like I said, I went to yesterday, did a shoot at the Try Guys office and it had been a second since I'd been in an office and I went to use the bathroom and I was just like, oh man, yeah, I don't miss like the, the having Mm -hmm. to time, like when there's not other people in the bathroom situation. There's nothing worse. Okay. When I worked at the recording studio in New York, yeah, which was like the only time I worked in an office environment yeah, and there were two stalls mm-hmm. in the women's room. Yeah. So like you just knew. Yeah. You just knew if you walked in I and know. there were two feet and well, there was not an immediate flush. Right. 
I would literally just be like, oh, I'll come uh, back later. That's like, I, yeah. I'm giving you privacy. I had to run in and use the bathroom right before I was going to get mic'd up. And there was like two feet in there. Oh. And I was like, I'm so, like in my mind, I'm so sorry. I'm getting out as fast as possible. Yeah. And as I was leaving, someone else came in. And I wanted to be like, you, leave them. Let leave them, them be. Wait, so how are they encouraging it? Is it so they're saying, Is it? Yeah, they're saying um, to alleviate the paranoia or anxiety, quote, Remember that everyone poops and to quote, visualize someone famous on the toilet like Taylor Swift. They used T Swift yeah. in this campaign. I don't know if that is helpful at all, but then I don't think so. The actual tips are like avoid food and drink that might trigger your bowels. The bring in a small fragrance spray in the toilet with there you. There we go. And breathe deeply or do a short meditation <clears throat> exercise. I carry poopery with me everywhere. Yeah, I would actually Fuck this list. <laughs> I think it's so weird. How does envisioning a celebrity pooping uh, help you? I I don't know. I would encourage, you know, they're, they did it on Broad City, which yeah. I thought, I don't know if it was in multiple episodes, but every time Abby and Alana would go to the bathroom at their work, yeah. they had a rain stick. That's and they would I'm, do it. I mean, encourage noise. Encourage offices to play music play, in the toilet. Get some white noise in there. Yeah. Get some Sonos radio <laughs> or something in there. Have like, yeah, some noise happening. I remember the first time I learned about poopery was when I was on the uh, getting photos for my first book. And I walked into the studio and mm -hmm. Robin, the photographer, I like went to the bathroom. I was like, what is that in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, I bring it to every set I'm on because... It's, you know, close set, lots of people, yeah. usually one bathroom. And I was like, this is the most Brilliant. incredible product. Incredible. Yeah. We went hard for poopery for a while. For a while. I did a brand deal with them. It was. A did you? It was, yes. God, we I, have peaks. We, I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> it's the glory days. Some, you know, some people will talk when they're about a quarterback. I'm talking about the time that I did a poopery deal. Damn, jealous. And I remember getting like a bouquet and I made it like a poopery yeah, bouquet. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, oh my God. I think I took your photo for uh, that. I think we went and got margaritas at Salazar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but just a reminder that I love poopery. Uh, yeah, because here's the deal. I remember when it was like hard to find and now it's like at every Everywhere. end of the aisle in Target. Um, now they have like luxury ones where it's like, Whoa. it's a, well, not the poopery brand, but like a different one that brands. it's like, oh yeah, it yeah. look, it'll look like perfume. No one will know. Mm. And I'm like, isn't it in perfume anyway? Yeah. Um, but men are real weird about using the bathroom. Like are they? At, in public restrooms. Oh, like a fear. Well, cause they yeah. have the option of being like, I'm going to use, I'm going to pee against yeah. this wall or I'm going to go into <laughs> hiding and you're going to know exactly what I'm doing. Exactly At least with doing. women, it's like, I don't know what she's doing in there necessarily, yeah. even knows? though I probably do. She could just be like avoiding her friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's a tampon situation that who knows? They should have like, a, you know, they used to have those like buttons like the easy button mm -hmm. you know those buttons they have dogs be like i want a bone yeah you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> what? which to this day i it don't freaks me out i think the sound is added later yeah. i don't think those dogs are saying anything also i think it's good for us to have a little bit of mystery around our animals yeah i don't need to imagine them talking to me uh, yeah that directly i don't need beans to be like you're a cunt. Uh, <laughs> until I like take her for a W. I said W because she's off camera. Yep. Um, but anyway, I feel like because people will say, well, if you're in the bathroom, if you're about to like make a big noise, you yeah. do the courtesy flush, right? Yes. Yeah. That is so wasteful with water. Yeah. Give us a button. Give us like a burr, 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 burr. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. That'll be great for the people that are already <laughs> afraid to do anything slightly different than the norm in a bathroom. No, I'd be a dog in there. I'd be like, hold on, ladies, pooping. I know. I mean, I think that <laughs> bathrooms should come, because you know, like when you're at someone's house or something, yeah. let's say hypothetically, and you go into their bathroom and there's no fan. Like when you go into someone's when bathroom dead and there's silent. a fan, that's like the best feeling ever. That yeah. you're like, I'm not even going to shit. But just knowing that no one's hearing me pee out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you go in there and it's a deprivation chamber. Oh, God. I don't even know. I, I don't know what to do. What do you do? Oh, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> I hum. No, you know what I do? I do the faucet. But again, that's wa that's wasteful right. for water. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because even like I shared this apartment with my dad and brother. And I would go in and i run the faucet. <laughs> <laughs> just out of like courtesy to them yeah. too like we're family and it's who gives a shit 
There we go. Uh, pun intended, I guess. Uh, but still, it was just like we're in a small space. Yeah. And there's not a lot of noise going on here. Remember, <laughs> I mean, remember when I um, heard the brown note at the Black Lives Matter parade <laughs> and I started yeah. shitting my pants? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what's so crazy, I remember, you know, being driving home, truly, if I would have gotten in a wreck, I would have just ran away. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. how bad I had to go. Yeah. Um, everyone, if you're a longtime listener, you know, you know that yeah. story. It's iconic. It's a classic. Um, but texting Chip to be like, put on headphones, yeah. crank the music, yeah. stay, actually leave, leave yeah. town. Yeah. I'm going to be home. Came in, started shitting my pants, <laughs> went to the bathroom, came out with my, <laughs> with my soiled clothes in a bag. And I was like, you won't believe it. He hadn't even read his text. <laughs> He was like, what just happened? I was like, I've been texting you for 20 minutes. I just shit my pants. I just ran in here. like, a, And you just, you've just you just been playing Warzone and didn't look at your phone. I'm glad you guys are engaged oh, now. I know. We've been through a lot. That does bring you closer together. We've been for through sure. a lot. Uh, oh, man. This was fun. This was really fun. I was going to ask what happened on The Bachelorette this season. Oh, my God. Because it seems like there's intense discourse. But well, if it's I too much to get into, well, we're towards the end. I didn't watch Bachelorette, but I just watched clips of the finale. And yeah. apparently, first of all, I watched the first two episodes of right. Bachelorette. You said you weren't super into it. I thought all the guys were duds. Yeah. And the guy I thought was the duddiest won. Yeah. And I, the guy she chose. Yeah. The Ugh. guy who I was like, ugh, this guy grosses me. Out. Like, I don't yeah. think he's handsome. I don't think he's cool. He's like, yeah, all I did that, see like, a clip of them at the reunion. Yeah, he like, he uh, monopolizes her time. He, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. Wasn't into the guy. And then I was like, she chose him. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, immediately he was distant to me and like going out to clubs and like just not calling me and for 24 hours. And like, and then he broke up with her three months after. So I'm like this girl who came on there being like, I've never had anyone treat me well. It's yeah. the bachelorette. And then goes on there and yeah. gets dumped. I see a lot of discourse about um, people being rightly, it sounds frustrated and angry with production of putting her through that that having she was to watch like, it yeah and that she was like crying a lot and that he followed maria like on instagram the day after like, the engagement <sighs> that's bold it's that's bold and that is um uh like a, a bat signal yes. of bad fuck boy <laughs> bad guy i mean because the thing is she was like maria's my friend like, it's all good. She was like, I don't think anything happened with him and Maria, but I think it was a jackass move yeah. for the day after we get engaged. Yeah. Do you follow the girl who was originally asked to be the bachelorette? Yeah. And I clearly have some like, you know, yeah, uh, not self-esteem. I'm like, you know, if I, some uh, insecurities. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, I Damn. didn't watch it. Sorry, Jen. Didn't watch it at all. Sorry, but J Train. Sorry, sorry, you had to go through that. <laughs> but it does sound like the internet's standing behind her. Oh my God! Did you hear the news about Dave Girl? I think I oh uh, did something about a kid out of wedlock. He's been married for twenty three years, and there's an another woman having his baby, Damn. and I think like that's how he got caught. Damn, Elliot and uh -oh. Joe just went to the Foo Fighters concert and said it was so good. I'm, I mean, I'm, I love him. Yeah. And every single comment under it is just like, well, there goes my hero. <laughs> and I'm like that, bravo. Yeah, internet oh. be internet -ing. Oh, man. Okay, we ended Woo. on a weird note, but it's going to get even weirder because we're about to watch the debate. Yeah. Everyone, good luck out there. Godspeed, everybody. Oh, stay man. Stay strong, stay focused. And this will be the last time we're in the same room for a minute. I know. Mamrie's going over to the East Coast. I'm North Carolina-ing this year, which I didn't do last year, and so I'm really excited to get back. So prepare for um, lots of stories about yeah. redneck weirdos and me attempting to hike. Yeah, and we're still toying with coming out for Halloween. We'll play it by I ear. think it would be so much fun. I can't, I well, I have a possible costume if we don't do a group one. Okay, great. I'll well, tell you. I'll tell you off camera. Okay, excellent. Well, okay. there's your <laughs> hints of uh, fun stuff coming up. Oh, uh, this got weird. Yep.